welcome to the start of another studio vlog i just got back from being at disneyland with my son which is why my hair looks like this within this video i have a few things that i want to get done a few things that i'm excited about one thing that's been on my mind for the past month or so is creating a new keychain or a new enamel pin i've done enamel pins before but they've all been disney inspired and i want to try to not just be focused all on that i want the next one to be just something of my own design something that from my own brain even though the other stuff has been from my own brain, but I think you know what I mean. I have a couple ideas for that. I have this one teapot keychain. I finished it maybe about like a week ago, two weeks ago, but it's been like, it started in my sketchbook, I don't know, maybe like middle of last year. And I came across it again and remember that I wanted to make something out of it. But then there's also this one, which would not be a keychain, it would be a enamel pin. This came from a design I had made last year, I think, or the year prior. It started off as a sticker and I really like it. It didn't do well, but I really like it. And I'm thinking maybe it would do better when applied to a pin. I still have like some things to work on, like the flowers. I'm in between the keychain or the enamel pin. My hope is to release like one new product a month because I can't really do shop updates anymore. Something else I have as a goal for this video or by the end of this month is to work on a new booth setup. My stepdad is a carpenter and he's offered to help me build things that would make my setup look better and draw more attention. I have a Pinterest board for that. It's just a matter of me like sketching stuff out and then doing measurements, all that, yada, yada, yada. What else? Oh, I want to finish that painting that's staring at me. No, I am going to finish that painting. Um, I do have one thing to unbox that's really fun. My husband is a photographer, videographer. He's the reason why I can use fancy, nice equipment like this camera. He told me about this new camera that came out half a year ago maybe. These were finally back in stock. It's called the DJI Osmo Pocket. Pocket? Wait, what? Look at this. Look at this comparison. Does anyone else do this where you need to clean up but you don't really want to clean up so you just move the mess from one spot to another? Wait, what? So you rotate this to turn it on. <gasps> that is cool. Whoa. but I had the blinds down and I put them up and all this dust just came out. Can you see that? That was really bad. Another thing that I want to start focusing on this month is my health. I don't consider myself old, but I also know that I'm not getting any younger and my body definitely feels that, especially after having my first kid. Some areas that I've been trying to work on is feeling more focused, not feeling like my brain is going a million miles a minute and just reducing stress. I have been taking these wellness shots from Magic Mind for about two weeks, actually closer to two and a half weeks, I think. And I was honestly really surprised that they have
have been working so well for me. I've taken other wellness shots before like ginger shots, turmeric or like things to support your immune system but nothing like the ones from Magic Mind. They're supposed to be like a sidekick to your coffee. It is supposed to help with increasing your ability to focus. It's supposed to reduce stress. I can say that I have felt a difference in the days that I take it. You're not supposed to feel like jittery as you would on coffee. Even on the days where I feel like I'm not going to get anything done, I still take it and I just feel a lot more at ease. I feel like calm despite the fact that my to-do list that day won't be entirely checked off. And yet I don't feel like I get distracted as easily which is something that I struggle with being a mom. You're being pulled in all different kinds of directions. It's a busy life with a toddler and I feel like these shots came in at the perfect time. And if you're still hesitant or uncertain about what they claim to do, they have all these links on their website to different sources of different scientific studies. They have everything backed up there. The dominant ingredient is matcha green tea, which I love. I love matcha, so that was a definitely a plus. So yeah, I would definitely recommend trying them out. It's been a really good experience so far. I don't have any... I don't have anything bad to say about them. hard time with this I just feel like nothing <laughs> nothing is looking the way I wanted to even though it's just in the beginning stages I think it's because I don't see it super clearly in my head just yet even though I have sketches to follow for some reason I'm just having a really hard time putting that on paper and I think it's probably because I'm already thinking too much of like a final product in my mind I I thought it would be great for a t-shirt and an art print I feel like that's kind of getting in the way of me just making something first before having anything solidified on a final product if that makes sense I don't know why I was struggling so much yeah I was just way too in my head I think because I'm as I've been drawing this I'm like of course I know how to draw flowers like why am I so so like rigid and tight about it this might not look like much but it's a much better it looks much better than it was before <laughs> A little scuffed, yeah. Just a little bit. It's okay. Wow. Nice. It looks, it looks clean. so cute, huh? Yeah. So I got a little bit into working on my new setup for my markets. The sketches were very rough. And I honestly stopped because I couldn't make up my mind about the exact displays that I wanted. And I know these sketches don't look like much, but I spent way too much time on them. I kept coming up with different layouts and it was just giving me a headache, so I stopped. After a few days, I just came back to it, but instead I just opened up this photo of my recent display on Procreate. I used this kind of as a base instead, which was honestly so much better. I don't know why I didn't start like this beforehand, but I basically drew in what the potential displays could look like it might look a little busy right now it doesn't look super nice obviously but I mean at least it's a start like now I know where to go from here <laughs> <laughs> 